All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. Under brother and not by Ayasha, the GMS Indianapolis camp. Come on another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with the Lord will not help evildoers. See what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of people out there that's trying to bring you harm, that's trying to do you hurt, that's trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 discredit your character, your name, what you stand for, what you believe in. See what I'm saying? These are all evildoers. Those that blaspheme the name of the Lord, those are evildoers. Those that mock the doctrine of Yahweh Shimei Abishai, those are evildoers. See what I'm saying? When you stand up for righteousness, they try to uh, cast your name out as evil. Those are evildoers. See what I'm saying? So the scripture I'm be dealing with is going to be Job chapter 8, starting at verse 20. It says, Behold, Yahweh will not cast away a perfect man. What makes you perfect? By following his law, statute, and his law statutes and commandments. By, by doing what's right in the sight of the Lord. By doing what's right in the sight of men. According to the, to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what make you a perfect man. See what I'm saying? By what? Not following the ways of the heathen. Not celebrating these wicked holidays. Bowing down to these false gods. That's what make you a perfect man. It says, uh, Behold, Yahweh will not cast away a perfect man. Neither will he help the evildoers. It says, Neither will he help the evildoers. Remember tell you in Proverbs, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So he's become a what? A evildoer. See what I'm saying? When you follow the ways of the world, you're an evildoer. When you bow down to these false gods, you're an evildoer in the sight of the Lord. You're not doing what's righteous. You're not doing what's right. You're doing what's evil in the sight of the Lord. Evil means what? Bad times. So you bring a bad time to yourself and the people around you. See what I'm saying? A lot of times, brothers, they get, uh, you know what I'm saying, they get caught up in themselves, not realizing that demons and took hold of them, so they become what? Evildoers. Brother try to correct you, you get pissed off and mad and trying to bring false charges. That's being an evildoer. That's not listening to the spirit and power you have by Shimei Abishai, because a lot of times people look at us and think it's just us talking. No, that's the Lord working through us talking to individuals see what I'm saying it says uh, verse 21 it said till he fill thy mouth uh, with laughing and thy lips with rejoicing and how does he do that through the word that's why this, these scriptures are known as what the comforter because it comforts us in our time of need when we feeling bad down and out you know what I'm saying angry pissed off mad discouraged these scriptures are comforting also, the Lord may put the spirit on other brothers to, to, to call you or contact you and give you uplifting words. You know what I'm saying? That's comforting. That's what uh, helps your mouth to obtain rejoicing and, and uh, laughing. Verse 22, it said, They that hate thee shall be clothed with shame. That's right. When a person is trying to set you up for a fall, you know what I'm saying, by being wicked, knowing that you're being righteous, but they, uh, but that demon take hold of them and try to cast your name out as evil and try to set traps and snares for you. That means what? Like it said in verse 22, they that hate thee shall be clothed with shame. They're going to be ashamed. You see what I'm saying? The Lord is going to bring their enterprise to what? To naught. It's not going to come to, to pass. He's going to destroy their enterprise. They're, therefore, they're going to be filled with what? Shame. It says, uh, and the dwelling place of the wicked shall come to naught. See, the dwelling place of the wicked shall come to naught, even if their dwelling place is, is mental. See what I'm saying? Even if Satan trying to set up a, a mental dwelling place, it shall come to naught. Because a lot, a lot of times, that's how Satan gets to you as well, through your mind, through your brain. You know what I'm saying? You so caught up into yourself and into the world, you stop being spiritual. And therefore, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, will, will cast you away because you're not focusing on him. Now you, now the Lord is taking his spirit from you. You see what I'm saying? 
That's why King David prayed that, Lord, please don't take that spirit from me. Don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Because why? When the Lord takes a spirit from you, hey, then you're susceptible to who? Satan. You see what I'm saying? Now Satan has an advantage to run a train on your brain. Because you're not being spiritual. You're not acting like the elect. You're not carrying yourself as the elect would. You carry yourself like a, a heathen, like a like a a, 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 a moron, a, a, a nigger. You know? You're not carrying yourself like a man of the Lord. Like he should. You know? It says, uh, Uh, okay, next scripture. I'm just going through the spirit, man. I was riding and you know, the spirit jumped on me to do a quick lesson, man. So this is all through the spirit, man. Well, there you go. This is Psalms 120 and chapter 1. In my distress, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. See, that's being the evildoer. See what I'm saying? When a person is lying on you, when a person is being deceitful, having a de deceitful tongue, that's an evildoer. You know what I'm saying? And we cry to the Lord. We don't get carnal. We keep we keep it spiritual. Even though in the flesh you get angry and upset, but still the spirit always prevails. Like, look, my son, don't worry. I got you. See what I'm saying? That gives us comfort when the Lord says, don't worry about it, my son. I got you. You know? Psalms 121 and 1. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. That's what we turn to for help. That's what we turn to for guidance, for, for spiritual counseling and guidance to help us function in our day-to-day -day life as who? Yahweh Shemiah Verse Jumping down to verse 7, Psalm 121 and 7. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Remember the evildoers. It says, he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. So the Lord is going to uh, protect you. It says, from this time forth and even forevermore. From this day on and so forth. The Lord is going, going to protect his men. He's going to protect the, the hopeful elect. Lord willing, I'm one of those men that's of the hopeful elect. See what I'm saying? Protect me from what? These evildoers. See what I'm saying? And that's who we pray to the Lord to. We don't get carnal and bust nobody upside the head even though you want to. No. You keep it all spiritual. How do you keep it spiritual? By focusing on the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Remember the scriptures say that his word is what? Spirit and they are life. Uh, next scripture is uh, let me see Okay, this is Psalms one. I mean, uh, Salaki, Proverbs chapter two, verse uh, verse twelve. It said to to deliver thee from the way of the evil man. See, the Lord is protecting you, protecting us from what the evil men, the evil doers, those that want to bring harm to you. Whether it's Esau, whether it's an Israelite, whether you know what I'm saying, even a brother, a brother in the faith, a brother in the camp, trying to bring evil toward you. You pray to the Lord, hey, what? Deliver me from these evil men. You know? It says when wisdom, I mean, uh, verse 11, it said, uh, verse 12, Proverbs 2 and 12, it said, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, meaning perverse things, outside the scriptures, it said, who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. That's right, because when you not following the scriptures, you're following the path of what? Uh, unrighteousness. You're walking in darkness. Because what? The scriptures give you life. Give you light. You see what I'm saying? In the midst of all these darkness, the scriptures tell you how to how to deal with different people. Those that want to bring harm to you. You know what I'm saying? The, the scriptures give you wisdom on how to deal with that, man. So we pray to the Lord whenever somebody bring harm, whether it's Esau, a heathen, you know what I'm saying? Or even... Even a, a Israelite just acting like a heathen is bringing harm to you. You know? It says, uh, this is Proverbs 2 and verse 14. It said, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked 
and they forward in their path to deliver thee from the stranger, the, from the strange woman, even from the stranger with flatter with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth and forgetteth the covenant of her, of her power. That's right. The Lord protects us from what? All these false doctrines, all these false philosophies. See what I'm saying? So, so the Lord is not going to help the evildoers. Like we read in, uh, in, in uh, like we read back in Job. I'm going to read that again. It says, uh, Job, verse Job 8 and 20 said, Behold, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, will not cast away a perfect man, neither will he help the evildoers. So those that's doing evil, that's not following the law, statute, commandments, whether they're, they're heathen or whether they're Israelite, that, that, that acts like a heathen, the Lord is not going to help them, man. See what I'm saying? When you sitting there trying to bring harm to a brother, lying on a brother, the Lord is not going to help you, man. See what I'm saying? You got to repent and get yourself right with your how about shimmy out a shot before it's too late, man. See what I'm saying? Because sometimes brothers don't know when demons are taking hold of them. They they think they're still flowing in the spirit. Yeah, you're flowing in the spirit of Satan, not the spirit of the Lord. And don't even realize it. See what I'm saying? For a lot of time, brothers can't take correction, man. Because they're flowing in the spirit of Satan. If they were flowing in the spirit of, of, of the Lord, then they'll know that, hey, this brother's showing you love. This, this brother's looking out for your well-being instead of brothers getting all emotional. See what I'm saying? We ain't the time to, hey, brothers got to hurry up and grow up and be men. We about to go to, to battle. We are in battle, but it's about to get more intense, man. See what I'm saying? So remember that you how about shit, man, with shot is not going to help you evildoers, man. See what I'm saying? So, so with that, a blah, 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 shalom on.